Hi, welcome to Youth Conference. Glad you guys are here. This is my son's first youth conference and he's really nervous. Is he going to be okay? He'll be fine. I remember my first youth conference. I was in seventh grade. Oh, what's your name? Milton. M Mal Mal Malvin? His name is Milton. All right, Greg Milton, you're, you're going to have a great time. This is a great place for you to be able to, you know, learn more about Jesus and, and grow in your walk with the Lord. We just want to make sure that he's safe. Yeah, I, I totally understand, but he'll be fine. Uh, part of growing up is learning how to have fun within the rules. That's where true safety is found. Remember, rules aren't there to hinder us, but to guide us toward a better version of ourselves. In fact, rules are there to help us to keep from or be free from the consequences of breaking the rules. And we have a few rules here that uh, we'll be helping you to keep along the way. First, you gotta remember, be on time to all events, activities, and services. Now, today, you are a little late, but that's okay. We'll make sure we get you there on time the next time because the best part of our services is the worship, and we don't want you to miss it. Milton, we worship to prepare our hearts for the message. I understand. I won't be late next time. I know you'll be okay, buddy, and I love the attitude that you have. And that brings me to our next rule, which is respect and obey all authority figures. Milton, the authority that God has placed in your life is for your protection, but we have a responsibility. In fact, it's a sacred responsibility to care for your soul. And one day we'll give an account for that. Thank you, thank you. This is exactly what Milton needs. I'm so glad he's in good hands. Don't thank me, we're glad to do it. It's not the most glamorous job in the world, but when I put my head on my pillow each night, I just know it's so rewarding. Just to know that our labor is not in vain, that you're investing in the lives of future leaders, future generations. I, I just have to pinch myself sometimes to make sure I'm not dreaming. Are there any other rules? Well, our third rule is participate in all conference-related activities. All the activities? Yep, all of them. This conference is specifically designed to get you out of your shell, uh, to make sure that you're connecting with teenagers your age. Now, some teenagers, they like to, you know, sit in the back and disengage, but not at this conference. We have crafted an environment of growth. We want you to get involved just for you to be able to connect with other teenagers your age who share a passion for doing what's right. I'll tell you, the world out there, it's crazy, man. It's, it's actually insane. Milton, you need a place of refuge. A refuge from life storms. The Christian life is a battle and you need to surround yourself with people who can keep you accountable and have your back. This place is for you. Those kids out there have a burning passion. They're on fire for the Lord. And we want the same thing. Even the girls, there, there's some good girls out there. You know, I met my wife at youth conference. In seventh grade? Do you do you have a girlfriend, Milton? Yeah. Milton's not allowed to date. You know, speaking of girlfriends and, you know, next year. You know, our next rule is never be in an isolated area alone. Milton, I really want you to listen to him. That could really hurt your testimony. Okay, Mom. Another couple other, you know, fine print, like other rules that we have to tell you. Uh, 
One is, you know, no firearms or weapons or any kind of explosives. And then also we want to make sure that you dress appropriately. But, you know, I don't think we're going to worry about those rules with you. But I do have one question for you. Are you all in? I think so. Focus. Are you all in Milton? Yeah. Good. Thank you for taking care of my little boy. It's not a problem at all. It's for them. Yeah. Look, he's already making some friends.